I'm going to change the PTO shaft. When I'm using the slasher, the PTO shaft goes in and out, causing it to fall out of gear. This is with the slasher on. The adapter also has this wobble, it's leaking oil, time for an upgrade. Before letting the oil out, I'm going to check the fill up cap. I want to make sure I can get that off, don't empty all the oil out and then not be able to refill it. We'll just do that up finger tight. Don't want any dirt getting in there. There's the gearbox draining bolt. When you're undoing this, you want to be ready to put it back in or have a really big pan because there's a lot of oil in there. putting this one back in so I can go to the pump drainer bolt now this one's the next drainer bolt back ideally you'd want to have three dishes for this something to drain all three of them at once at the moment I'm just draining the bulk out of each I'm going to put this one back in so I can go to the diff. This one is the drainer bolt for the diff. I'm going to continue to let that one drain because I found another dish and I'll start to drain another one at the same time and I'll see if I can find a bucket to get the third one and let all three of them drain for a while and the diff is back here and still draining so I'm going to take this one back out found an old bucket so now this one can drain at the same time as the other two and 
and I'll let all the three of them drain for about an hour or so just to try and get as much of that old oil out of there as I can I still have the oil draining while I do this and I've put a rag down in case it drips when I pull it out but now I'm taking the PTO shaft out I'm just going to give this a tap on the side here just to break it free with the hammer I got it Let me just slide this out That's that. Now this is the replacement PTO. Here's the part number. Comes with the gasket. new cap and it has the larger spline so there's no need for that adapter that wobbles around on the old one to turn make sure it's sitting in place properly I just put the PTO in, in gear to see if it stopped turning it did so it's sitting in place now it's still got a little bit of a gap there Can't push it anymore by hand. And I don't want to hammer it in and then have it not lined up and not be able to get the bolts in.
using the bolts to pull it into place nice and slowly. I'm trying to do it as evenly as I can. They're all nice and tight. That way it should all be pulled in nice and evenly. And that gasket should seal nicely. Take it out of here. Okay. Seems to be all good. This is the dipstick side. I'm going to take off the cover and put silicon around it it's only a slight leak but it's still a leak well it's got no oil in the gearbox I may as well fix that This is what it looks like when you put the PTO in and out of gear. That's out of gear. That's in gear. This is the other side. The side with the PTO lever on it. No wonder this one's been leaking, it's loose. That one wasn't too bad, but that one and that one were loose. Just giving that a clean. I'll clean all that up as well. And that's what it looks like inside from the PTO gear selecting shaft side. That bit there. where the select shaft goes into. I'm going to put some of this gasket silicon just around. Just around here.
when I put this on, I need this piece to line up with that piece inside. Couple of these bolts in. Feels like it's in. I'll go around the other side and check. And this is why I'm doing it while I've got the other side off. So I can check and make sure that that's working properly. I don't want to get all this tightened up and then find out that that doesn't work properly. Now that I've checked that it's sitting in the proper location, I can tighten this side up. seem to be reasonably tight I'll just go around and check them all make sure I didn't miss one that's all good now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side this is the dipstick side Taking this cover off makes it so much easier to see in there to make sure you've got that PTO selector on properly. Now I'm going to put the cover back on. need a little extension on this side just to get past the brake rod there let's go around and make sure I've got them all Dipstick back in. All three of these have been draining for a couple of hours. This one's the gearbox. Both the gearbox and the diff have a tapered thread. I'm going to use some of this on here and 
on that seal. I'm just going to put some on this side. around this is the diff one This one is the same as the gearbox. It's got the tapered thread on it. Now to put oil in. This is the oil that I will be using. Give that a bit of a clean. I'm just going to give that a minute and see if there's any leaks. I don't want to get it full and then find out there's a leak somewhere. It all looks good, so I'm going to continue pouring. The oil has a long way to travel from here all the way back to the diff. So, I will check the dipstick in a few minutes, give that oil a chance to run throughout evenly. Put the cap back on, don't forget the washer. Just so you'll stop moisture getting in. Give that a tighten. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to be notified, click the little bell icon. See you next time.